Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. It is about nine something in the morning. Uh, it is a um, Tuesday morning. In any case, you guys, it has been a very rough weekend for me. I had a wonderful and close cousin um, that I really loved pass away from an overdose of fentanyl. Hmm. Yep, you guys, it's, I don't know when people will learn that we all have a common enemy. And I say a lot around here, while we hating each other, the devil hates us all. But um, I'm learning in life. I have learned. My pastor Diane used to say, people don't change after 35. And I believe she's right. I, I, I'm starting to see, I, I, I believe so because People are full of pride and arrogance. And the worst people, <clears throat> I hate to say it, well, are Christians. I do hate to say that because that's, that's mind-blowing. Because the people of God, and I say it like that because obviously they're not of God, should be some of the most forgiving, humble, merciful, kind, and loving human beings in the world. <clears throat> but I am finding my most woe days have been with Christians. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, we're in the last days. There is no doubt about it. When I tell you we are on borrowed time, who we, I know it. When it says it'll be like the days of Noah, people were eating and drinking and um, giving in marriage, and which means they was going on about their daily lives and caught up in the things of the world. And uh, they're going to be in for the shock of their souls, the shock of their lives. And the ones who will be most devastated and in shock will be the Christians. The ones who think church attendance will get you to heaven. The ones who think um, because man said you all right and God has got serious issues with us and we tend to ignore what God thinks about us and uh, favor the praise and the worship of man of us. Them people right there, you all, they will, they will experience the greatest fear Mm -hmm. they will know that they were utterly delusional. Once this rapture happens, when I tell you, when people say, oh, I, could, I understand, I'm crystal clear. When this rapture happens, wow. Yep, I am. Um, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm not in shock, you guys. It's just... You tend to think when people are 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, and they've been Christians since she was a little girl, you tend to believe that these people know God. You all, oh my God, I cannot believe the carnal pastors, the self-appointed apostles. They're so fleshly. It'll blow your mind. You, you be like, you be in shock. You, you all, I'm a roll alone dog. I'm a roll alone, as they say. <laughs> Just roll alone uh, because it's very dangerous out here. Um, you can help people be there for them and it still won't be enough, you all. I know what I'm talking about. I, um, no, I'm not going to say nothing. It's just not worth it. It just let me know, Marcia, stay to yourself. Go about doing good to strangers. I said strangers. You try to help people and their mind is so gone. They don't know it though. They are in sin, have lived in sin, haven't repented of nothing. Think that God is just going to, you know, it's okay. We're human. Okay. Okay. 
Anyway, you all find somebody, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to people that um, they don't claim no godliness to know him. And I know this sounds crazy, but just ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to people who are destitute in their hearts and their spirits and souls, uh, who have been beat up by life, beat up by so-called godly people, their own family members. Ask God to lead you to them type of folks because you will find um, you've been led by God. I'm telling you now, yes, I know what I'm talking about you all. Because it be the ones that think they know God. And if you look at their fruit and how they treat people, you know they don't have God. You know it. So you all, I'm hoping that my minutes, not my minutes, my gigabytes are working. I'm testing it out, Brother Patrick. Thank you so much. Um, Apple said they took the payment, so I don't know. Any old ways, I really hope that I have more time. I um, will be back on with the teaching, God willing. As I always say, I'm doing the best that I can with what I have, you guys. But um, I think I just need a new phone. That's the bottom line. So hopefully that will take place. Um, Y'all know those phones are not um, cheap today. These iPhones, anywhere from 400 on up. And um, any case, I just want you guys to stay in the word, stay in prayer, because we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it outside of staying connected uh, to the vine. Yep, I see why Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branch. My husband, sorry, excuse me, my father is the husband dresser. He dresses the vine. Amen. Jesus always say, I only say and do what my father say and tell me to do. And now if Jesus is obeying his heavenly father, look like we ought to be obeying Jesus, thereby obeying the heavenly father. And even the Bible says those who are led of the Spirit of God are the true sons of God. I, I, it's crystal clear to me now. You got people tolerating sin, thinking that God is going to be all right with it. But see, just because they're all right with it, don't put God in that because his son paid a serious price for our sins. And if people would get that fear and that revelation with Jesus Christ's body, soul, and spirit, and mind, his entire being went through on that cross, folks wouldn't be playing with sin and tolerating it in their life in no way at all. I mean, it, it would not, no. Not when you know what is right and you're not doing what's right. The Bible says there remains no more sacrifice. And uh, like never before, I do see people being turned over to reprobated minds. Yes, indeed. I listened to an interview with Tasha Cobbs and Lecrae, or Cray. Uh, he's a Christian rap artist. These people, if they don't repent, they are going to burn in hell. Because they are just as worldly. They're in the bed with the world. They love the glamorous life. They love the things of this world. Um, Mike Todd, this uh, young, I don't even want to call him a minister. He is a minister of the doctrines of demons is what he is, Mike Todd. And he's not alone. He learned from those who mentored him, which is Carlton Pearson. This is a man who talking about there is no hell and there's no such thing as the devil. You all, when I tell you, you better get to God yourself. You better make it personal between you and your creator and the savior of your soul. You, you better know him for yourself. So anyway, we in the last days. I mean, that's an understatement. We are, we are at seconds, minutes, and hours, and days. I wouldn't care if we had three to four months. That's nothing. Time is whizzing by like you can't even imagine. And some of us are aware of that. Uh, my son, my youngest son and I was talking about how fast <clears throat> time is going. I mean, it seems like if you look at a 